Well, I was asked to do a salvage job today on an old boat and a trailer. And I had no idea what I was getting into, but uh, here's what we picked up. And uh, I'm not sure what this boat's worth for salvage. It's aluminum, but then it's got a lot of work to do to make it so that they'll take it as aluminum. But the interesting thing is what all came on and with this deal and uh, some things that we can use. Uh, a friend of mine, actually my brother-in-law, and I have been doing some fishing and uh, we could use this anchor lock or rope lock or whatever it was he called it. And I was out here kind of scoping this thing out a little bit. and I don't know if there's any value to the axles or springs or trailer frame or anything like that, but I know they'll go into iron and metal. But uh, I'll show you some of the interesting things that we discovered on this thing. One of the things that we uh, noticed is this has got this tongue hitch, this tongue jack or whatever you want to call it, and it actually works flawlessly. It cranks up nice and will still swivels and pretty decent shape and everything, so I think I'll pull that off there and use that. And then I was looking out here, I was looking at this winch because I've kind of wanted a winch for the front of my trailers. I want to put a receiver tube on the front of my trailers and be able to hook a winch into it. Well, this winch is its a cable winch and it's a crank winch, but I notice it's got three shafts coming out of here. And as I look at the gearing on there, it appears as if you can uh, set different crank speeds based on which one of these you put your handle on. If you put it on this lowest one, you actually get the uh, most strength. And if you put it on this top one, I think you get the fastest crank speed. And then of course on this middle one, it's like somewhere in between on that. And this has got, looks like about 5 16 cable at least on there. Doesn't look like the cable's all that long, but of course, you know, you can get new cable. Cable clamps look good. Um, but uh, yeah, and the mounts ain't even bad. So uh, I think I'm gonna grab that off there, of course. Now, I was noticing that it even looks like it's got some kind of a locking mechanism so that once it's winched up on here, you could actually lock it into place, which is kind of rusty. I don't know if I can get that to work or not, but I don't really care. It's a tilt bed trailer. We noticed that. But the strange thing is, is here's your latch point, and here is your swivel point, and that's only about two foot from your latch point for this whole trailer, so I'm not sure what good that does, but apparently it does some. But then I did notice that you've got about another foot and a half, you can actually move your hitch back a foot and a half if you wanted to for a shorter boat or whatever. So the boat itself, of course, is <laughs> a little bit overgrown, and I'll just strip this thing down probably and try to get all the steel off of it so it's down just to aluminum and see what we can get out of it. But now I'll show you what else I got out of there. And uh, you know, like they say, one man's trash is another guy's treasure. So uh, I just see what I can use. You know, even the hitch on that trailer, if I wanted to make another trailer, there's a hitch on there. I don't know if I want to make another trailer or not, though. I need another project, like I need a hole in the head. But uh, what was in the boat was a couple of anchors and these anchors you can use them right away. Nothing needs to be done with them. And uh, we could use them out in the boat we've been using to go fishing. Then they got this old rusty rod holder and I thought, well actually, you take the bolts out of there and then the rest of it is something you can actually clean up and paint. And and use. It's kind of a nice handy little uh, rod holder. And then we got these two seats. We've been kind of wanting pedestal seats of some sort. Of course these here made the bolt on your boat, but uh, I think I could rig them up so that they'd be clamp-on style or something. And they'd have to be fixed up and reupholstered and all that, but plastic bottoms and I could reuse the bottoms and put new foams in it and all that kind of stuff. And why, yeah. So, yeah. And of course, if I decide I don't want to do any of this stuff, 
Everything can be burnt and salvaged. Thanks for watching.